Hello viewers, this is Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. I had multiple requests to read on the Freedom Caucus after uh, I think it was Psychic Violator did a reading um, and it brought forward some interesting information. Um, my pull on the Freedom Caucus, I feel that they are very influ influential uh, in, uh, in they're almost like Trump's henchmen now. Um, Originally, uh, I won't go into when they were formed. You can look that up. Um, you can also uh, connect the dots with Mick Mulvaney as being uh, one of the founders of the Freedom Caucus um, in 2015. We also know that in 2017 they didn't actually automatically uh, go along with Donald Trump because they uh, demanded substantial changes or they blocked his uh, health care package, if you remember back to then. But slowly over time, they've actually got behind this president and they've actually given him a little bit of muscle here against more moderate uh, Republicans. We know the Freedom Caucus is absolutely abominably right-winged to the... And that's why they were set up uh, in 2015 to actually... Um, be a uh, far right winged faction of the Republican Party. Now, the key question here with the Freedom Caucus is uh, are they in bed with Russia as well? I think that's really what you want to know. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, the Freedom Cor is the Freedom Caucus, and we know the players Mark Meadows, Jim Jordan. Um, are the, the Freedom Core, is the Freedom Caucus being funded or supported by Russia in any way? Freedom Caucus, Russia. Okay, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune here turning. So there's some kind of some kind of karmic aspect to this situation. And my feeling is it's more around it's more around the highlighting of this far right wing politics, this obstruction, chaotic element of politics uh, and it's almost again that the that things are going to change uh, these now the Freedom Caucus are right behind Donald Trump they're his main men so to speak I do think there are women also on in the Freedom Caucus um, but the wheel is turning here and uh, the challenge here is anxiety these people feel in some way um, this is all tied up with Donald Trump's downfall. People are worried about what, what's actually going to happen to them in, in all of this wash. So, um, you know, we're getting this fear from the Republicans now, which has come through my previous readings as to what's motivating them. The Freedom Caucus is also feeling that worry and that fear. Foundation of the reading, they support the president, they support the emperor, uh, they support the autocrat uh, who stands for many of the things that they stand for. Are they uh, in bed with Russia? We've got the Ten of Pentacles here suggesting that they're, that um, overseas money in some way uh, has helped the Freedom Caucus. Now, Actually, it may not even be uh, necessarily overseas money. Um, apologies for the for the um, the saw in the background, the chainsaw in the background. I'm getting a draw to the Mercers here, uh, the Steve Bannons. He was involved in setting up that party. It is this dark money, this money elite that want to see a radical shift to the right. That is what is funding or behind the the Freedom Caucus. Now the chariot, things coming along, coming on very strongly and very quickly. They really did have that meteoric rise, but it's hard work for them now. It's like a big puff and nothing. They uh, that the wheel of uh, fortune is turn is turning against them, and it's hard work to get their aims through. Now we've got uh, uh, in in the the situation now. We've got the average American voter here the average family. These far-right policies are not working for everybody. Uh, and we've got disappointment here um, in the environment around the Freedom Caucus. The hopes and the fears, again, I feel they're fearing that uh, this is the High Priestess. What could be revealed about their activities? What's gone on behind the, the closed doors? It's around the money and the uh, the money that's funded them. This is the loans and the debts. 
We asked if Russia was funding them, if some overseas entity was funding them, possibly. But what I'm seeing here is the Mercers. Now, we know the Mercers from previous readings uh, and uh, also other uh, information in the public domain. There are potential links between the Mercers um, uh, and, and Russian money. Uh, so I feel it's all, we're talking about the same thing here. We're talking about these um, far, this far right winged uh, groups and organisations that are being funded by the money to leak, the dark money here. Now we've got strength and endurance and I do believe this was to strengthen the push toward right wing, right far right winged politics. And we've got uh, the, the actual, how, how do they do it? They get the, the people in the Congress here. Um, now what's hidden from our view is the hanged man, which is the stalling of the plan here. So I feel that initially in 2015, 16, 17, uh, the Freedom and 2018, the Freedom Caucus or parts of 2018, the Freedom Caucus was a force, uh, a rising force to be reckoned with, uh, one that was going to, that has potentially been funded by, um, as I said, the dark money, uh, the, the, you know, that uh, that we saw so much of in 2015 and 16, uh, potentially Russia. There's been funded by dynastic wealth uh, in some way as well, family money. Also Trump, the Trump organisation is showing up here. So we've got this connection here, uh, this Steve Bannon, Rebecca Mercer, Koch brothers um, move toward this pushing politics in the far right. And, of course, um, of course, that uh, meant that, that uh, con you know, they had to have people in Congress. Now, these people have um, formed a barrier behind Donald Trump. Now, they're amongst his um, most vocal defenders, uh, his henchmen and women, as I called them. Um, are they a spent force, though, because that reading started was indicating that they're actually quite fearful of information coming out, potentially on who they uh, took money from is what they're worried about. Okay, so are they a spent force? Uh, will information come out on who is funding the Freedom Caucus? Let's just put it like that. Mulvaney is the acting chief of staff in the White House as well. So, of course, we've got the Freedom Caucus lined up uh, behind Trump as his henchmen and women. So uh, let's have a look. Will, um, <clears throat> will it come out? Will the, uh, it be revealed who is funding the Freedom Caucus? Okay, that's our signature card, which is uh, the Nine of Pentacles. Again, uh, money to leak, perhaps the money to leak funding them. Uh, yes, uh, millionaires, billionaires. Um, this is also my a card for Russia. So this is a challenge to them, I feel, where they've actually um, received their donations, their political donations. Um, this is also balance here as the foundation of the reading, bringing the pendulum back into balance. I feel that uh, they are, it's hard work for the Freedom Caucus right now as a result of what's going on, the illumination that's going on with Donald Trump. We've got the Two of Swords here, um, compromises, who was compromised and by what. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune turning, turning, the karmic destiny. Their future's tied up with uh, Donald Trump. They're increasingly isolated now as a result of the uh, wheel of justice turning, as a result of the Mueller report uh, and the, uh, you know, the truth and the illumination that's coming forward here and the environment around who, they, who they're chained to. Uh, it's not looking good. They're actually quite worried about this. Um, as are a lot of Republicans at this point in time. It were, you know, the hopes and fears, what's going to come out about the money that uh, that backed the Freedom Caucus. Uh, and we've got the Knight of Cups who's appearing so often here. Now, the Knight of Cups can uh, be an offer coming forward. It can also be a romantic uh, card here, who they did their deal with. But it also can be uh, almost a... A debauch side to this Knight of Cup, uh, the Knight of Cups as well. It's like uh, you know something that was done very quickly, 
uh, something that may not have been well thought out. Um, it's almost like they created this movement, uh, potentially, you know, for the magician card, the trickster, potentially to get, you know, to really change the face, uh, to take the opportunity to change the face of um, politics, to push it, uh, to push it to the right here. And now it's supporting uh, the businessman uh, and, and Donald Trump. And they're caught up with it now. They're caught up with the truth that is emerging, the illumination, and they're worried about it. So, look, um, my cards, you know, the reading that I'm doing is showing that there's definitely a worry about uh, where they, uh, how they were funded. Uh, let's just put it like that. My, um, I'm being drawn to uh, the same people that funded that far right, the, uh, the Brett Barts, you know, that far right um, assault on democracy. Uh, those people that fund it are exactly the people that are caught up with the Freedom Caucus, are supporting the Freedom Caucus, the Steve Bannons, etc. Um, right now, they're lined up behind Donald Trump, and they're uh, they're the vocal uh, the vocal protectors here. They're not necessarily uh, totally in step with the Republican Party, but uh, they're the vocal, the vocal minority at this point in time. Um, it's suggesting they're very worried about uh, the sort of uh, the, about the truth coming out here uh, and how it will impact on who they who they're chained to, who they supported, who they did the deals with, who they backed. Uh, they're very very worried, as as I think all Republicans are. Over all my readings today, and I've done three in rapid fire, uh, the lack of accountability on this president and the lack of oversight, the wheels that are slowly moving has got everybody worried. It is a, um, it's almost reaching a crisis point now uh, where people are almost going to be going into the streets and demanding that there is some kind of action taken here against this president. So I'll leave it there. Um, there are three readings for you um, on the some of the critical uh, issues of this week. Uh, that page is still only a page, which is suggesting it's a it's a it's not a quick revelation of the truth. It's still it has to be hard worked for. However, this page is young. This page has uh, got energy. This page is inspired. Uh, this page is on a quest which is suggesting to me that the Congress, the House, will not stop until uh, until it has everything. And it's, got, it's very, very well supported. Uh, we saw those 600 or over 600 prosecutors, um, former prosecutors, uh, come out and pen that letter that Elizabeth Warren read in the uh, Senate uh, recently. You know, there there are there's a lot of momentum behind this push for accountability of this president, and of course, with accountability of the president comes accountability of the Republicans, and also comes the accountability of the Freedom Caucus, and it's showing me that everybody is actually quite worried about that coming and in, inevitable accountability. Thank you.